inspired you to get into film? I'd always made films, I guess, ever since my parents got a handy cam for taking holiday videos. And I used to make little stop frame animations from the age of about 13 onwards. I, I grew up in kind of a, quite a small uh, village in Scotland, so uh, there wasn't all that many other kids to play with. I went through a phase of about a year of just making animations in my room for, for, for a while. So that was sort of how I started. I started very young, so I, it was just for fun really. Uh, and the films I was watching at the time were things like Star Wars, and I, I was obsessed with it. Um, so it was, yeah, it was just a game really, and I used to play in, <clears throat> in, my, in my room and just make up characters, and, and that, that was acting. And so when someone said, can you do that, but in, in front of a camera, that's, that's all I did. And sometimes when I'm doing a scene and I'm kind of overthinking it, I'll, I'll even think back to that moment when I was 10 and just pretend to play, because that's all it is really. So I, so I, had, I remember distinctly a moment when I was about eight, where there, I, I was watching something, I think it was probably E.T., because I love love, still love E.T., so amazing. And I, I think I remember asking my like, dad like, whether anyone, like who, how many people it takes to make a film. And it was this moment where I was like, I love stories so much. And then all of a sudden realizing, you know, that somebody actually had to make these. And um, so may, maybe that could be me. How did you know what music to play at certain times of the film? Having music changes the way that you that you view something, it can drastically change the mood and we sort of built a temporary soundtrack that, that at least got us into the right ballpark. And then before we locked the edit, then Graham became available and he's brilliant and I've worked with him before and we sent it to him and he came back with, with a score that I think was better than, better than the tent, which is always, uh, always nice. How long does it take you to all the special effects for the movie? We had six days of live action and then we had a day of miniature shoot. Um, so all of the special effects happened within those within that time, but they'd been planned really meticulously before, so you, it usually takes you about a month to prep the film and helped us to figure out how what we needed to physically shoot. I've done things with more CG in as well and you kind of have to use previses or cut in drawings sometimes and here almost everything was was real and I, I did I did um, sort of rough composites myself. It's all really an art form because there's not that much green screen involved and so when you're painting the earth on a barrel and you backlight it to make it look like the sun's popping out from behind it. Because if you do it on CGI it's kind of, I don't know, it's, it's a very different feel and when you watch it it looks organic, it looks textured and real and working in that environment I'd never worked like that before. I was being pushed along on a, on a, on a dolly sporting myself on my stomach tending to do all this flying whilst two people were holding hair dryers blowing my face. <laughs> it's brilliant. It's so fun. I was so worried at first of breaking it to you that that was how we were going to do it. Because like I knew you'd done you know, this sort idea. of big films and you know, how, you know like where they do the stuff you might call it properly or whatever but you know and I was thinking gosh you know because most of it was based around spinning on a bar stool with sort of waving your legs around. Oh, yeah, around. It's brilliant. I love that. Most films end up with happy endings. What made you make this film and unconventionally. I, I, I kind of think it is a bit of a happy ending, a, li a, a little bit, you know. <laughs> I think it's bittersweet. These bittersweet endings, I find them strangely sort of satisfying. They do find it sad. They don't really end up anywhere. No, it's a good point. But you see, uh, the, the <laughs> they end up burning up, but they end up burning up together, and maybe, maybe it's not worth it um, at all, but at least it's something that you, I don't know, at least it means that we can talk about it, which is quite nice. Do you prefer the making of the film or seeing the end result? So I really love making the films because you have all of these people, you know, who come together, who've got really specific skills, like, you know, people who love making miniatures and people who love making costumes and, you know, actors that are incredible and or this whole crew. I love the moment where you get on set and you've got this stage and you haven't built anything yet, but everyone arrives and it's like, right, okay, let's go. And that, that's the most fun thing. The shoot is the most fun thing for me. All the, the, the amazing jobs that are on a film set, they're so varied and everyone all comes together doing all these different jobs all for one purpose. Something about that connection that is uh, what I found really inspiring, that's why I enjoy doing it, it's because I like the atmosphere. I can now watch the film and it's a real pleasure to see what you've achieved and especially when you watch it in a room with those people because there's such a you know bonding 
lovely atmosphere, but I don't know, I, I wouldn't ever change the actual making of process. I think that's what I, I love most. <laughs>